One, two, three. Tag me in podcast. Tag me in podcast. Back again with another episode. You're joined by myself, Ola. And also Anton. Yes, yes. And we have a very, very special guest in the building. You know what? I'm going to let you introduce yourself. Oh, you're going to yeah. give him the... No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he's got the voice as well, yeah, isn't he? Is, yeah, I know. That, yeah, that... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bass, 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 bass. This has been overdue for a while now, hasn't it? Yeah, it's been... But less, less, less... Tell, tell, tell the people listening who you are, what you're about. Right, so yeah, man. My name's Daryl. I'm the founder of Urban Shredders. Hmm. We're all about being defiant, becoming the norm. We snowboard, we ski, put on events, and we just open the mindset to like different things. Winter sport related, so yeah, man. We're just some defiant people. You hear that? You hear the voice, innit? He's just, and he's chilled with it, you know, because he's always on the slopes, innit? <laughs> <laughs> mellow, man. It's mellow. It's mellow. It's it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, like, what you're tackling is breaking the norm, right? Because a lot of people, when it comes to winter sports, they're like, hmm? who? It's cold. Like, I'm not going to hit a slope. I don't know how to do it, and that's not for us. Like, I'm saying it from, from a black person perspective. That's not for us. Yeah. And, like, I've been snowboarding. I've only done it indoors, but I've always wanted to go out to a festival, you know? Yeah. Because I've heard about them. So, that's the thing. Like, obviously, there's a stereotype, a cultural stereotype within the Pan-African, Black, Afro-Caribbean community that we do not do these things. Anything that involves the cold, that's not for us. Not for us. And Any- water. Yeah. yeah <laughs> See, that one I don't know, because <laughs> I've been, been able to swim from yeah. early, so. Yeah, yeah. But I've heard this one since I started doing uh, Urban Shredders. Like, I'm like, well, I've been swimming since I was four, so I don't know. Like, yeah. But, yeah, like, there's always these stereotypes that we can't or we don't or that we should not do these things. And I'm like, we're in a time where we can do anything we want or put our minds to. Like you're, we're in a position now where, if you have a nine to five job, or you can do something on the side, you can blow up on YouTube, and that becomes your career. So, for me, like with the whole snowboarding thing, when I speak to people, I'm like, all of those cultural boundaries and taboos that we have, we need to do you away don't with need them. To live up to them. Get rid of it. That's it. How did you actually get started in it? That's what I want to know. So for me, like going back to the mention of festivals, I went away to a festival in Avoria's French Alps called Snowbox and yeah like I went out there I just wanted to focus on snowboarding and skiing I had no plan of starting anything I wanted to snowboard since I was like 11 oh so you've had an interest in it for time yeah. Yeah. yeah but for did you know anyone at that time of your same like sort of background that went so we we had trips at school yeah oh yeah, yeah, yeah. but I wasn't able to go mm. for a couple of uh, occasions so it's as I became a grown man and I found out about this festival, I was like, you know something? I'm going 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, why not? Yeah, like, I have the opportunity. I don't have to answer to anyone. So yeah. I want to go to something. I'm going to go to it. And But I went over there, the sole ambition of just learning to snowboard and enjoying the moment. I didn't want to be on my phone 24 seven. I didn't want to do any of that. So like, I wasn't even trying to take pictures and videos. But when I was out there, I noticed that there was a lack of us as a community like afro-caribbeans out there mm. but still we were still welcome and embraced by everyone that was there but i just noticed there was a lack of our presence and i was like why yeah like there's no reason we shouldn't and then when i was speaking to other people they were saying to me like it's good to see a mixture of people get involved like yeah. genuinely like like why people would openly say that yeah we don't get a lot of black people that yeah. choose to do this openly and it wasn't like a racial, but it was just observation. Yeah, 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 literally yeah. just an observation. It's like, yeah, man. So it's good to see you guys get involved. And then when we were abroad, we dressed up as the Jamaica bobsleigh team. Oh, so and you went with what friends? Uh, yeah, like with friends. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I organized the trip. So there was like five of us. Were they like, mm, not for me? Or no, no, no. All, all of these people were down. Like, yeah, I didn't, yeah, yeah, I didn't have to. I didn't yeah. have to like convince anyone. But, like it's like anything in life. Decisive people make decisive decisions. Okay. So someone puts something towards them, they're like, yeah, I'm down. Yeah, why not? So yeah. that's what literally happened. So yeah, man. And then so went abroad, went out there, had a great time, came back. I didn't take out a GoPro. As I said, I did not. I just wanted to enjoy the moment and learn to snowboard. I wanted to come back and say I could snowboard. That, that was my only aim. So some other people had footage and I was like, no one's really doing anything with it. Everyone give me the footage. Yeah. Like I'll chop that up and put something over it, put some music and just yeah. try and make it look sick. Mm. I did that, started showing people, because I just wanted to show the holiday, and 
people are like, yo, this looks sick. How can I get involved? And I'm telling everyone the same message. And I just said to myself, why not create something that has a central focus and brings everyone to a central point where they can find out all the information that they need to know about yeah, yeah, yeah. how they can get involved. That's why on my website, I put all the events. You can come with us or you can go. Also, just, you know, you can go on your own. So if, even if there's like a new snow, well, you went snow box. Yeah. What, how many years ago? Uh, come up for two years ago. So it doesn't happen every year? Yeah, it happens every so year. So if I went onto your website, I'll be able to see the date. I'll be able to go onto the link and book yeah, it exactly. if I'm really interested. Yep, there's a link. You can book it. Everything. Wow. That's mental. Yeah, man. How was it first received? So you've got the website up. You've got things going. This black guy going snowboarding, skiing. What's the reception like? You know what it is? It was a mixed one. Like some people, like I would say, most people are amazed, whether they're for it or against it. It's just like, whoa, this looks cool. <laughs> right? And then it's like, you're like, some people are like you're a weird kind of dude, bro. Mm, like, you get like, yeah. like, why would you even want to do that? And others are like, that's sick. I've always wanted to do that, but no one ever wants to come with me. So I'm like, well, guess what? Urban <laughs> Shredders, you want to link up with people? Come with us, because I know for a fact there's always that one or two in their group of friends that want to do something and the rest don't want to do it. Yeah. Link up with that one person or link up with us. Meet some new people, man. Step out your circle when... This is what I'm talking mm. about. Have you guys heard of the Wing Collective? Have you seen this movement right now? Yeah, yeah. So traveling. they go traveling yeah. together. So, you know, a lot of times you find people ending up going on these little trips and they all like snap snap, it's all called Instagram, where the Wing Collective is literally, you know you want to go somewhere, so they set out different events throughout the year. So I think the next one, the last one they went to was, I think Dubai. And you see the video, you see on Instagram, they look lit. Yeah. Like, they look mm. like they're living. And I think that's what you kind of need. You need to have this this space where people can go and find information. And if they feel like they want to go traveling and they're like, oh, I can't find anyone to go traveling. If they want to go snowboarding, just hit you up. Exactly. Urban that. trailers and this, there you go. All the Ex information's there. Exactly that. Exactly all the information. That. So how long has it been running for? Coming up to two years. Two, two years. years will make April. Yeah? yeah? Yeah, yeah, Or April will make two years. So, yeah, like, yeah. How many events have you put on so far? So, up until today, I'd say I've put on five events. I put on one junior event and then four events tailored towards adults. Yeah? So, yeah, that, that was in the space, realistically, those five events were in the space of, what, 18 months. Oh, you're so, the goal is hard. Yeah. And I've been to one, and honestly, this is the one they made on Keens. Yeah. I was like, how did I find out about it? Um, I think we had him, we had you on Instagram by then already. So yeah, yeah. yeah. So I just kind of saw you post. I'm like, yeah, yeah I'm gonna get involved in this. And like you said, I've always wanted to do it, but there's never been anyone who's been like, yo, let's go. I'm down. I'm down. Yeah. So then when I found it, I'm like, yeah, I'm going. I was like, I don't care. I'm going. I signed up. I'm like, is this thing's gonna be cold? You're like, no, you'll be fine, bro. I'm like, are you sure? You're like, bro, you will sweat. Exactly. I'm like, what's this guy talking? I get in there, bro. I was sweating because <laughs> it is work. Yeah, isn't it? It's, it's work. work. It is work. It's work. And I thought it would be quite easy, but I was just like, nah, this is quite difficult. Yeah. It's really difficult. But I think the thing that I found the most worrying or disturbing was that I'm at work. Everyone's asking what's happening for the weekend. I'm like, okay, in the next two weeks, I'm going skiing. Everyone's like, cool, Caucasian, Caucasian, like workmates. I'm like, yeah, that's cool. The one brother, the one black guy in my team, black people don't ski. What are you doing? You're a coconut. Oh. I'm just like, yeah. hold on a minute. I'm pushing myself outside my comfort zone. I'm doing things I want to do. I'm living my life. Yeah. You're telling me I'm white. You're deeming this activity only for white people, so black people can't live. What kind of a narrow, fixed mindset is that? And that's I'm the just like, oh. Yeah, and that's the, that's the thing. Like, that's if there's ever a comment I'd get, yeah, it's we don't do that. I I honestly that's, I hate that so much. Yeah. That's how do you break that? For me. I just ask, I'll ask people a simple question like this. One, you're in the UK, yeah? Mm -hmm. Last time I checked, we didn't have like glorious beaches. So if you look at, if you go outside now, on the day of we're here, well, they say in a warm place, mm. so you should be used to cold. You, we wear winter jackets, we complain about the weather in this country. That's one. And then I'll be like, have you ever been ice skating before? Because a lot of people, a lot of black people, Pan-Africans, Afro-Caribbeans, have tried ski, uh, ice skating. I'd be like, what's harder to fall on, ice or snow? Mm. So if you can go ice skating, which is ice, so when you hit that, you feel you it. Feel it yeah. Why would you not try something that's in snow to suffer? I guess it's I always go back to status quo. Like you don't see many people doing it. I I'm looking at my own family, and I'm probably the only person that's been snowboarding. 
and that's the thing so like through urban shoulders as well i want to bring about awareness it's, and yeah, representation yeah and that's the thing like i always believe like especially within the pan, pan african community like we learn we aspire to do things from a visual point of view mm. so if someone talks about it yeah, yeah, yeah it's all words i'm gonna show you living what i've told you you know what I'm saying? So I'll be the living proof for you. I'll be the example for you. Yeah. So I'm not just talking about it. Because I used to do boxing as well. Like, And when I used to coach people, I wouldn't just coach you and be stood at the sidelines just barking orders. I'm coaching you while I'm doing it. So if I'm saying do 20 burpee jumps, I'm doing the 20 burpee jumps Come with on. you. Yeah. So it's the, it's the same. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You see me on the board and I'm promoting this. So you can see that I'm, I'm living, living it. it. Yeah, 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 I'm yeah, living yeah. it. It's real leadership. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So you can see that I'm not just a man of words. I'm a man of action. About this. I guess it's like taking it to aside from you know doing winter sport. There's stuff like um, what's that sport that they do in Cambridge? They do the boat race every year. Yeah. Rowing. You know rowing. Like how many brothers do you know or sis doing rowing? And that's the thing. Like I don't know any to be fair. But that's because I don't have exposure to it like that. That's what and it that, is, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's what it, like, exposure, because I feel another thing is, like, people, obviously there's people of Afro-Caribbean heritage that have done snowboarding and skiing. Mm. But I feel like some people will either make it really clicky that they will do it one or two people, and it will be a thing, it's like almost like a status thing. It's like, I'm able to do this because I'm of a certain stature in my life. Or, okay. Or... Like, it's just everyone looks at the price of it. I was gonna go on to that one. So, it, like, the price of it, everyone's oh, because I even before I started this looked into it. I was like, man, this is so expensive. And it's not until I really got into it that I found there's other avenues that are a lot cheaper. Mm. So that's another thing that I want to bring about. It's one culturally eradicate these taboos. Yeah. And two mm -hmm. financially. Okay, yeah, there are some expensive places, but let me show you also where the cheaper places are that you can get involved. Mm. Like, it's all about being informative as well. So. Information, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. Cause I'm thinking back, like, I'm sure in my school, we had a ski trip. I think it was in year eight, but it was 600, 700 pounds. Yeah. Coming from a single parent household, we didn't have that money. Yeah. So it never happened. The only way I've done snowboarding is in Milton Keynes. Yeah. In Snow Zone, is that what it's called? Yeah, 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 yeah. Snow Zone. That's, that's the only place I've done it. So that's the thing, that like, was a Groupon voucher. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Trust me, but that's the thing, like, even even if that's your introduction through Groupon, it's still an introduction. Oh, still it's still exposure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's the thing, like, for me, it's all about exposure. We talk about the boat race, like, if, if people were exposed to it or knew how to get involved in it, mm. they would probably do it. And that's like with Urban Shredders, people kept asking me, how do I get involved? How do I do it? Here you go. This so the, the simple ones will be the ones, the events that you kind of pull up that are in England. Yeah. yeah those yeah. will be like the first kind of big Yeah, those, yeah, those, those are the, yeah, the induction yeah. to winter sports. Yeah. And then, yeah, like 2020, we're looking to set up something abroad and take a group of us away. Mad. and do something like but organized by us yeah mm. so we're not going to someone else's festival or someone else's event organized by urban shredders for the urban shredders collective so like a festival type so i wouldn't say it's going to be a festival for now because yeah. like start small and then grow yeah, yeah, yeah so it's like probably like a chalet party or something like that okay, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, start yeah, small yeah. No, and right. then after that like see yeah, where it takes out. us we could maybe link up with some people who knows mm. but I just want to take it from the, we've been doing the indoor events those are going well but obviously there's people in there that have never skied or snowboarded before that now can ski and can snowboard they want to test themselves it's like a cool yeah. club like let's take it to another level because you're still going to have a conveyor belt of people that have never done it so yeah come like we still hold the events in the uk yeah and then we go abroad that's mad with the people who have that kind of negative naysayers mindset of if you were in a position where you could say something to them that could potentially make them go, actually, I might try this. What would you sort of say? Because those people could be listening in like, no, I ain't doing that. What? But it would be nice for them to possibly experience it. Yeah. This, you know what it is, yeah? Something like that's tricky. It's like what anyone says. You have to want to do something. To do. So I can always give you like, well, you'll say to me, 
Ah oh, man, but it's cold. I'll say that you don't get cold. Trust me. You wear the right jacket and you'll be moving around enough, you don't get cold. But someone will come up with a reason for what. So for me, it's like I'll give you the information. It's for you to make up your own mind. And like I say to anyone that isn't interested in actually participating right now, I just tell them, follow the journey. Yeah? And then see how we progress. And I'm sure eventually you may come around. Because as I said, like, I feel that we are visual people. So hearing someone talk the talk but not walk it yeah that's like yeah man whatever but if you see me talk it and live it then you'll be like he's doing it i can do it so for me it's like i'm i'm not trying to put any pressure on you like here's the information if you don't want to participate with us follow the journey just see what we do we can be a little saturday sunday night entertainment if you want <laughs> just follow the journey and if you like what we do then link up with us yeah, 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 man. Yeah. That's it. Because it's like going on to your, your point. Um, it's not just about winter sport, it's about people trying new things. A lot of people won't try new things because mm. it's so foreign to them. Why am I going to go play darts? That ain't for me. You're right about awareness as well. But I think mentally we get ourselves in a comfortable space. We know what we're good at and we don't want to break that a lot of the time. Stay in the comfort zone. Yeah, stay in the comfort zone. Quite wide and you about. do need people to bring you out of that comfort zone. So, like, all you need is one person to be on Instagram and be like, rah, Urban Shredders, have you seen this? Send it to one person. Yeah. And they'll be like, why don't we just go Tuesday? Oh, that sounds sick. Yeah, the next event is Tuesday. Let's go. But it's like, that's the thing. Like, new experiences can change the course of your life. That's what people don't understand. Or not that they don't understand, but people don't value. Life is all and about experiences. Experience. But that's what I'm saying. So it's mm. like, people don't, it's like, I'm good at this. Why, like you said, I'm good at this. Why would I try something new? Because doing something new allows you to have growth. Change and challenge brings about a betterness of you. Mm. If you learn from the mistakes that you make. Like I said to someone, I was talking to a friend and I said, the only time something becomes a failure is when you don't listen or learn to your, learn from your mistakes. mistakes yeah, yeah. Like, otherwise than that, it's just all a lesson. Just keep like, going. mistakes, we're all going to make mistakes. Like, when you're a baby, you got up. You tried to walk and you fell. Mm. And then you but and then you, you keep on trying, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So it's just, it's that set again, like, take yourself out of your comfort zone, expand your horizons. Because it's like, when you look at what's going on and what they say in London, it happens across the whole UK, around the world. But take that individual that just stays in their comfort zone, whether it's a negative, or if it's a negative environment, put them somewhere positive. Because everyone just wants to be happy at the end of the day. Yeah, live life. Yeah. Do what you enjoy, man. Like, or try and find things that you could enjoy. Like we had this moment where we went bungee jumping and we did all these different activities. That was a mad thing, right? Like we was, I don't know, for me personally, I was looking for something that was like really fun, like something yeah. I enjoy. And always, I was just on this, I think it was for six months, I call it my quarter life crisis as well. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but yeah. I was like constantly looking for something. I was like, what's going to give me thrill? Mountain biking, doing mm, madness. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you know, that time. Point. I was on it. I was like, what are we doing this weekend? <laughs> hey. And, um, you know, I kind of take a step back that I still have like a plan every four weeks to do something new. But you know what it is, yeah? Even just doing those things alone, start a conversation. Oh yeah, I went snowboarding now, but oh is it? Yeah. And then people start telling you about their different experiences. And then, and then exactly. Because it just starts up this dialect of, oh, you're open to doing things. And then you meet other like-minded people that's like, yeah, I tried that once. And then you know what? I progressed to this. Yeah. Or even if you want to stay with the same activity, there's levels to every activity. Mm -hmm. So then you get and you gain experiences, for, like you said, from someone else's experience. And you're like, I might try that next time. I might push myself next time. Like when you do something new, it's just a whole new environment. So, <laughs> I wouldn't expect it not to be. <laughs> but, it's like, it? but it's just like people like, for me, neglect that side of things. Like, you're taking yourself to something completely new. Like, standing on a London road is very different to standing at the top of the French Alps. Mm -hmm. And that's a whole nother level of beauty. Yeah. And standing on top of the French Alps is very different to being on a beach with the sun. But guess what? Both are still beautiful. I just, I just got a question of why not? That's all I keep on thinking. So, I've come back from traveling, went away for 10 months. And on my trip, I only saw probably nine black people. And one Dutch guy, black guy, he was like, have you realized that there's not that many black people who travel? Yeah. And we sat down and it was like, why? Why is it like that? So this is the thing that I found, yeah? We do travel just to the same place. 
Mm. Like, yeah. Or even back home sometimes. Yeah, that's. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think that, like, when I look at my grandparents, they'll go back. They've travelled a bit, but they'll go back home yeah. every year yeah. without fail. Yeah. But they will never say, you know something, let's go somewhere totally off board. And I think, like, within our family dynamic and setup, We've also become accustomed to that. Oh, yeah. It's like, yeah, man, I look forward to going back to the beach and the this and the that. And it's like, there's other places. Yeah. Black Panther. What's that tribe that's in the mountains with this snow? Yeah, I forgot his name. Oh, no. Yeah. But you know what I'm saying? It's yeah. like, there's other things out there. Like, you can snowboard and ski in Africa. Yeah. Like, people don't know that. So, like, I didn't know that. Right, I'm so, not gonna lie. Like, what? what? So, is, he, is he just saying that? No, no, no. This is what I'm saying. Like, no. Like, so, again, it's like, yeah, we travel, but to the same places. So, how about, like, if you're from, like, South Africa, go to a certain part of South Africa where you can snowboard? Because you can. Because I've been to South Africa, and when I was flying over, I was like, looking down outside the plane, I'm like, I'm seeing white stuff. <laughs> uh, I didn't like, I was trying to process it and this is before I'd ever snowboarded yeah. before so I was like yeah like it exists so yeah man we travel but we just travel to the same place travel somewhere new I think money plays a big factor as well but that's the thing it's like, like it's almost like a limitation but the Car- like for example like, I'm Afro-Caribbean to go back to the Caribbean it's not cheap it's not, <laughs> yeah. not cheap and like if everyone can do this Miami stuff we are literally going from one city to another city. Yeah. One just has sun, the other doesn't. Why can you not do that elsewhere? Because there's other places you can go that are in some have everything you want and are cheaper. But because it's not mainstream and well known, yeah, people yeah. don't go there. And it's also there. There's this mindset of you don't know what you don't know. Oh, yeah. Exactly. By not yeah. kind of getting that knowledge or experience, you will never know what is really out there, mm. what you can experience. Yeah. There's a whole world out there. There's so much. <laughs> I'm just like, this place is. You look like a, you look at our atlas. You're like, oh, look, there's this side of this world. Mm. Yeah, it's not stopping. What changed you know, my life was an app called Bean. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I know about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the app called Bean it tells you um, the percentage of the world you've been to, like country wise, and each continent, and the percentage of that continent that you've seen. Mm. I downloaded that app. Now, anytime I go on holiday, I want to tick off somewhere new. Yeah. I want my percentage to go up. Adventure. Uh, that, yeah, that just that drives me to go that's somewhere new every yeah. time I go away. Okay, I'm going to have to get that. I'm have to get that. I've got a scratch, scratch off my oh, that sounds This great, one gives you a percentage and it makes you, for me, you made me realise how much of the world I haven't been to. Exactly. Mm. I think I'm only on like 9%. You're more wow. than me. Okay, I, I, let me rephrase that. I'm on 9%. I shouldn't say only. But like... It makes you realise there's so much more to see. Mm. And the person that introduced me to the app, I think they were in their 40s. Yeah. And they'd been to like 14%. And Damn. they'd been to a lot of... If you looked on it, it was a lot of places, but it was still only 14% of yeah. the world. That's mad. So much more to see. There's so much. That's not even one... That's not even one fifth. And you could spend your whole life just in the same country. Exactly. Or go into the same place. Just like you know the pilot by his first name. Right, Jack. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you still got the gro- you still got the same groove in your seat. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So it's like, yeah, man. Like even if you do go back to you go back home, but like, when I go away, I'll go. To, I'll have a main destination in mind, and if I can branch off and go to another one, yeah, yeah. dip in, yeah. yeah, see what this is saying, and then go back to what my purpose was yeah, yeah, yeah. so like yeah man explore. explore so I've got a question um you said that you've always been interested in snowboarding since 11 yeah around yeah. that sort of age yeah around about 11 yeah how did you find out about it back then I can't I'm not gonna try and guess the yeah <laughs> that was that age <laughs> like what did you see something or yeah so it was like obviously you had like the, the Winter Euro Olympics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh my, that's it. That is exactly it. That is exactly it. Like Euro sports for the Winter Olympics and stuff like that, mate. And then what's it? Um, cool Runnings. Oh yeah, oh, come that's on. A classic. Yeah, Cool Runnings. Like, that's like a classic. It was a classic. Everyone, and that's why when we went to the French Alps and we dressed up as a Jamaican bobsled team. We had we felt like celebrities because everyone wanted to take a picture with us, and we were genuinely black, no blackface. So it was like, yo, like people were just coming up to us and taking pictures. Uh, Yeah, so those two things when I was younger, yeah, like the Winter Olympics. I don't even know the name of the event, but when the guys would come down some mad slope and then spring off on some skis. Oh, ski jump. 
yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they hold it. They're just like, yeah, <laughs> with some bad pose, like some yeah. horizontal pose. <laughs> I used to <laughs> love watching that. There so, used to be a game I used to play on my, my computer that it was the same ski jump. And yeah, like, yeah, yeah, man. yeah. I know SSX tricky and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, 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 I used to yeah, love yeah. that game. I don't, I don't think I played that much, but yeah, like you knew it was there. Yeah, the yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. So it goes on to that whole awareness thing, seeing it and then thinking, what would it be like if I was in that position? Mm. Sick. It would be sick. Um, so and no one ever told me I couldn't do it. That's the thing. Mm. So we didn't have that cultural, cultural bound. Like my, if I was watching it on TV, no one ever said, oh, like my family would never like turn that off. We don't do that. So we, I don't know where this mindset came that we don't do that, but. I saw it and I thought that looks cool. Yeah, I think it's more because we don't do that. What I understand from it is because I haven't seen someone do it rather than someone telling you we don't do that. If you understand what I mean. I think we just try and fill in the gaps. Like, oh, I wonder why people don't do snowboarding. Oh, because I haven't seen anyone. So that must be the reason we don't do it. It just, yeah. Yeah. Um, um, what I'm going to ask you next is it, it's become a passion, right? It's become something that you enjoy. Like he's wearing a t-shirt. I don't know if anyone can. No one's going to see it on the podcast. But if you hit up YouTube, you're going to see him. He's wearing the, the logo. He's got the hat. He's got the the t-shirt as well. If you um, the website as well, I'm not. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to plug right about it now. Yeah, go on. Shudders.co. Check out the merch on the website. Oh, dot co. I was dot waiting co. for the drop. Okay, I'm done. Dot co. Yeah. Dot co. Okay. Yeah. All one word. Urbanshutters. Dot co. Don't worry. You can plug later as well. Yeah, don't, don't worry. worry. <laughs> I'm waiting for my free T-shirt. But anyway, um, <laughs> <laughs> now you got to support other businesses. Yeah. yeah. That's what I'm gonna say. Um. Ah oh, man, you lost me on my trail, but I'm gonna find it. I'm gonna find it. Do you have any other passions that are a bit unusual? In other people's kind of perception or like perception so out of the norm. Yeah. Um, boxing was a massive passion of mine before getting into uh, snowboarding. So, but I don't, I think people, because it's a thing that people are surrounded by with the big nights, with the Mike Tysons. Yeah. It's not a thing that people, people do say, how, how do you cope with getting hit in the face? I just say by getting hit in the face. <laughs> but, um, yeah, like that's something that I was heavily into. In regards to anything else, like more just traveling, like places that I've been. Yeah. When I told people places I've been, they're like, um, wow, like what's that like? Mm. When I told them I've been certain places by myself, they're like, whoa. So, yeah, like I would say that's the only thing that people are a bit, oh, that's, that's new. I've never been yeah. there. I've never thought to go there, but otherwise than that, mm. I'd say snowboarding is. So you got yourself into a place where you just don't care what other people feel or think? 100%. Like I just think it's like you get I'm I'm at a point in my life where I'm just like you can either do it with people mm. that wanna do it, you can either wait for people that wanna do it and then never do it, mm. or you can just go and do it. Or yeah. you can find people. That's it, you can find people. But that's what I'm saying, like you go with people yeah. that wanna do it. Yeah. So then it's like which is which is but fine. when I say find people, it's finding people outside of your social circle. So a complete yeah, new yeah. person like meetup.com or mm. um, like the wind collectors that I just mentioned, like you don't know who's going to be there. Like I went traveling, I didn't know anyone, but you just find people. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. And that's the thing, like by going by yourself, this was, if you're in the place and you meet other people in this same place, that's a whole new group of people that yeah, you just met. You've got so the, the same time, interests. Yeah. Exactly. So it's just like, it's just, in my theory, like, you don't wait for people to do things. Yeah. Mm, if you want to yeah. do it, do it. So it's like, you will meet people, like, if your social group want to do something, then you're going to do something together. Yeah. If they don't want to do it, then you have two options to wait for them to want to do it, and then you don't do it, or you just go and do it. I think that's the best way. Like, I, I wanted to go to Thailand for a while, and then everyone was just like, no, I'm not on it. So I just went. I'm like, why am I waiting for these people? And it was in uni that I just learned. Just if you want to do something, just do it. Because like you said, if you wait for your friends or people in your circle, you'll be, be waiting crazy. forever. It was just what happens. So I'm like, let me just do my thing. Exactly. You go there, you meet people. They're there because they want to be there. So you've got that shared interest. Yeah. And I think meetup groups are quite good as well. So essentially that kind of networking factor. Yeah. You're in a place where everyone has the shared interests. They're there already. Let's make this happen. Yeah. Let's make it happen. Yeah, no, that's yeah. but that's it exactly, man. Like you you in my opinion will be at the place you need to be. So it's like you go in there, you will meet the people you need to meet. 
when you don't try something, you limit the options that you have mm -hmm. to experience something new. So just go and do it. And again, whether you make mistakes or things don't go the way you expect, just learn from it. Do you believe in right, right place, right time? Yes and no. Like I don't think about it. I just like it is where it is. Yeah, it happens. It happens. You happens, know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, like, yeah. like you could want a thousand and one things to happen. It doesn't happen. You could want. You have no expectations of anything happening, and That's everything exactly. happens. So for me, it's just like there's certain things you can't change. Like I have no impact over something. Like I don't want to talk on religion, but there's certain things I will never know mm. until that time. Mm. So why am I gonna spend the time I'm I have living? To find it out, yes, like yeah. just yes. live in the moment, believe what you believe, and then when that thing you have no control over and you cannot answer now, when it happens, it will happen. It will happen. Yeah, 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 yeah. One thing I've learned is, as I've gotten older, you, I feel like you kind of have to have this "I don't care" type of attitude to a certain degree to really live how you want to live and enjoy. To not worry about what anyone else thinks, what anyone else does. Just do you. Take that yeah. control. Oh, you don't hey, like give it. me that. Okay, cool. Oh, is it? You don't want to come? I'm still going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. me, boy. Yeah, it's like, it's not even, some people might see it as selfish, but it's not even selfish. It's just like, your, you have your drive and your purpose. Like, everyone's different. And with, if everyone did the same thing, you wouldn't have different characters. Mm -hmm. So it's like, okay, man, like, maybe this isn't for you, but this is for me. Yeah. So, so I'm going. Yeah. Like, and maybe I can then tell you what I saw. Yeah. And then, and then that all. yeah, because if you take it back to, like, old school days, yeah. I'm sure there was someone in the village that went out and told the village what they saw. And then and the they village jumped said, on it. So it's just the same thing, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just reflect. let someone that is willing to venture out, go out and venture, man. Mm. Don't deter that person, let them do it. Come back and tell me what you found, mm. worst case scenario. And then hopefully, depending on what it is, people are open-minded to trying it themselves. If not, someone can come back and say, you know something, you might not want to go because I found X, Y, Z, then so be it. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. It's all, all right. feedback. So you touch on a word, worst case scenario. I'm interested in, you've been running for two years, What's been the highs and what's been the lows of your journey so far? Because are you doing this full time or are you doing it like a side hustle passion? I want to say a side passion. Side passion, yeah, it sounds better. Don't yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can say a side passion. Because obviously you're gonna go through moments of like, is there any point? Oh no, one's really connected. Oh. That's the thing, like that. I like that point you touched on. Like that moment of doubt is what I'm doing really worth it because I think it's something that a lot of people don't talk talk about. Because with like social media, like everything's like a highlight reel. Yeah. So mm -hmm. people are only seeing the best of whatever you put out. And that point that you touched on right there is the doubt, the self doubt. Definitely, like, I won't say it's the lowest low, but it happens along the journey because things, you might want someone to engage with something and you're thinking, yeah, this is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and they don't, you're like, Jeez, oh, yeah. man. <laughs> like, what, what did I get wrong? But then for me, I'm just like, what? I. I'll look internally like, what did I get wrong? Okay, cool. Let me try something similar, but I'll tweak it a little bit. And then you just get feedback and stuff yeah. off that. But to go back to your point, like the lowest points I've had, you could say are things where they've not gone right. So I've had an event that didn't do as well as I wanted it to do. For me, that was a hard hit, like mentally. Mm. Because I was like, at that point I was like, I had it was going well then it's had this setback but then I looked at other people in other industries because I take influence from different people yeah. like I take uh, influence from the boxing industry like how they run it how they put on events because it's still events not every show sells the way they want it to sell mm -hmm. like so you're going to have that and it's that realisation when I have had my lows I'm like <sighs> think about it are you the only person to go through this no Okay, so the other people that have gone through it, how do they deal with it? Okay, can I see myself doing that? Is it relatable to what I'm doing? And then I just try and apply that. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, like, but that's the struggle. And also the other struggles have been like a lot of this stuff, everything that people see with Urban Shredders is me. So from video editing to sending emails to posting on social media to engagement to emails, to any graphics i created my own logo so yeah i created everything from scratch i've had to learn new skills yeah so that i wouldn't call it a low but it's been that's been a massive struggle a balancing and spinning all those curve, plates. It? yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. massive 
That's the one. We thing. can resonate with that. Man. Yeah, no, that's that's the thing. Like, that's one thing that struck me about you. I'm like by himself. I'm like me and Anton are doing this. We need a team. Like we're just like yo. And I remember when I met you at that um event in the summer. It was like a barbecue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you were just there grafting. I'm not. Are you eating food? You're like no. I'm I'm I'm, I'm like what are you doing? Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm like bro. You were just handing out your finger like admin Instagram. I'm yeah. like this guy is on job. But that's but that's how it is, man. Like, like do you know that, one thing I like about I've seen you in action, but you just do it. Not in a forceful take it, take it, take very it. It's casual, a conversation. Yeah. Very yeah, 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 yeah. And that's what it. But that's what it is. Like for me, it's just like, like I keep to, because, like I tell people, I'm not a salesman. Mm. I'll never be a salesman, because to me, like a salesman can sell you something that isn't right for you. For me, I'm just having a conversation with you. I'm telling you the truth to allow you to make your own decision. And like again, like going to the market and stuff like that. Like I'm not a marketing expert, but guess what? If you don't put yourself out there, you don't talk, you don't engage, you don't interact. No one's gonna know. Yeah. And if people reject me, like, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a man. Yeah? Like, ever tried dating? <laughs> like, rejection, rejection is a part of it. <laughs> Everyone no one likes rejection though. But that's yeah. but that's the thing. But like, have you noticed the guys that have more game? Oh yeah, no. Like I think hell of a it's just like you know what it is it's just part and parcel of it man it just they, happens yeah, yeah, yeah. like just meanwhile I'm here licking my wounds like oh yeah. man <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's just like for me it's just like that like I just and it's a passion now so it's like you ask me what I'm doing I'll tell you something like snowboarding related because it's a passion now it's living not, it yeah. yeah I'm not just trying to sell something to you and in regards to the highs you know what it is like no so we're going away in April and knowing that a good 75% of the people that I'm going away with learn to snowboard and ski at my event. See it, yeah. For me, that is just like, this is what it's about. Like, and that there's more awareness, there's representation, or there's gonna be representation through Earth and Shredders when we go away. Like that that is that's the drive. Like that is what I wanted to see. I wanted to see people that didn't almost like have a voice or have a collective of people they could do this activity with they now do like these people that i'm going away with they're not people that i've grown up with yeah they're not my tight circle if you want to call it that but New they people. are yeah. my tight circle in the snowboarding uh, realm yeah. the skiing the snow sports why because we've come together through a liking of an activity like just talking about a lot like it just it just says it itself like that is the highlight I've got people that I practically don't know to join up with me and now we're going to experience something amazing together. Mm. So what's the, the vision? Like, I'm thinking, and you probably thought about this anyway, I'm seeing this as a, a movement where I can go onto your, your Instagram page and I'm seeing other people out on the Alps, out somewhere. They ain't even come onto your, your trip or anything like that, but they're just sharing their, their imagery. They're sharing their, their journey. Is that where you see it going or is it something different no so it's like it's along those lines like is it going to be a hashtag that someone can be like yeah. there, there, there is a hashtag <laughs> you get me but I'll, I'll let you know that in a bit but um just go on the website you know what I'm saying hey. but, <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking yeah. but um yeah no like legit it is we're like a community so um you're gonna see stuff from other people in there that are part of our community okay so that's the whole thing. Like we're trying to build up a network of people mm. that interact. The value to a network is the amount of people connected yeah, to it. Yeah, sure. So for me, it's like people that are a part of our community, a part of our collective. I call us a collective. I'm gonna sh like awareness, representation. Like they've gone on a trip. Yeah, I haven't been with us, but they're part of our community. I'm gonna share that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because that's the most important part. Like this isn't some. Oh no, you can only do things with us and you can't do anything with anyone else because no man, like go out and experience it. If you want to experience with us because you enjoy our vibe, you will do that. Yeah. Again, I'm not a salesman, so I'm not trying to say, yo, come cut that. But you going with them? No, no, no. No, man, like, okay, cool. Do you. Because we're still gonna be doing us. Yeah. So that's fine. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. But so I, I think that's where we're at. I want to be part of this collective. I'm I'm new to snowboarding. Tell me some 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 numbers. So how much is it going to cost, and how long would it take an average person to, you know, smoothly run down the the slope? So you ain't put me under no pressure at all with that question. But 
Um, no, because this is like you know, I need no, no, that information. No, no, no. Is it twenty quid? Is it? Is it a bit, but this is the this is the thing. Like it varies because this industry, yeah, like their prices change. Was it a seasonal sort of thing? You can have seasonal prices. <laughs> Sometimes, like you turn up to certain venues and they'll be like, "Oh yeah, we charge for this." I'm like, "I've been uh-huh. there before. I don't have to pay for." What that. about UK then? You want to start there? Yeah, no, UK? but that's what I said. So like, even UK. Yeah, at the different venues. So like, we've hosted events like where. We've had something a part of a package, and then all of a sudden we get there, and the package has changed. Oh, like, wow. if you make a pound, so trust me, someone wants. If you've made a pound, people want to know how you've made a pound. Like, yeah. so it's like that. So, but if people want to, um, like, go on lessons and stuff like that, I believe lessons are sixty pound upwards for like two hours, um, snowboarding and skiing. So yeah, like if you go to your local snow dome, people can get involved that way. Um, do lessons Groupons There yeah. are Groupons out there So yeah. Like I think they vary About £30 yeah. You can get those So On our Twitter We were posting When Groupons would come out I haven't checked Groupon recently So I haven't done it but <laughs> After here like, <laughs> He's putting it out there now Yeah man Because it's just like As I said Getting people involved And then when it comes to Like going abroad um, Again it varies It depends on what You want to do What your level is Because You might need lessons mm you might need higher, like equipment higher. Um, the level of accommodation you want to stay in. Yeah. You might be happy in two star, three star, four star, five star. You might want a private tutor. You want, might want a group one. So mm. like when it comes to prices, it varies. But that's why like anything to do with events, because I think events are the best introduction for me personally. Like, because Life in the field. That's what I'm saying. There's, there's an atmosphere to it. You don't, you feel less pressure because there's, not just that focus on that one activity realistically like you can party but then you can do other stuff as well like apri ski i'll touch on apri ski here a bit that? so like for example like if you go abroad so i mentioned higher of equipment um lessons you might not want to do any of that you might just want to party which means all you need is accommodation and flight and obviously you buy your clothes beforehand and apri ski is literally I think it translates to party after ski. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yes, yes. But it's after now become party. a thing that can happen all day long. So you don't ever have to strap yourself into anything. You can just party and drink and eat and all day. Yeah. What's this whole key pass thing? Because I keep seeing that. Because I wanted to go skiing along. Yeah, time, yeah. What's the key pass? So right, um, the chairlift or the lift pass. So if you want to get up to certain uh, parts of the slope, yeah. realistically, you don't have to buy one of those. I'm but listening. what your alternative is is to walk. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh okay, so, okay, okay. Oh. Yeah, so, <laughs> like, you don't have to, but it would be advised that you go and get yourself like a lift pass. A zone six travel card. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> no, no, it's like that. No, it, it's yeah. actually like that. Like depending on what you want access to, there's different levels. So you can buy passes to give you access to this particular area, or it can incorporate zone one with zone two or it might be zone two and zone five like yeah, it all yeah, depends yeah. okay so that's why when it comes to press like it's very hard to give, to like give someone like just general like yeah this is how much it's going to cost you because it depends on the country you go to yeah. depends on the time of year i'm like, just thinking you know what yeah. can i do on a weekend with me and my friends yeah if like again if there's an event coming up how much should i be like hey mate it's gonna cost 40 pounds and really? that's the thing like like because it's seasonal yeah. they change their price yeah and like I don't know if inflation is an impact on this like I don't know what it is but literally they will just be like oh yeah like you will call up and that's when they will announce that there's going to price oh, increase yeah. Change yeah. That like yeah like with like when we're doing events and stuff like that yeah, like, yeah. it will change so but I'm not I don't mean like one week will be this price and it'll go down it'll go up but I mean until I inquire to put on an event yeah. I don't know how much it is how so, much was it for you when you did it 50 yeah. 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 Which I thought was really good because yeah. it was two hours for a lesson, all the people, and I was like, yes. Enjoy it. Food, drink, music, Yeah, so, but this is the thing, like, I will never say, because I guarantee if I go speak to them tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, I'm not trying to like. Yeah, no, but that's what I'm saying, like, they will tell me that because, like like I said, the way if they if they see that someone else can make it, they'll probably up the price or include something, say, you want clothing that that's gonna cost you xyz yeah, yeah. i've been places where like clothing will cost me five pounds and then next time i've heard ten pounds it's it's yeah like oh boy. that's why for me like hosting events is always the easier option because my thing when i host an event all that stress you don't need to worry about yeah do you do like lift shares 
this year. So like, you know, I'm in London, ain't got a car or something like that. Like, do you have that sort of? So like, not like, not formally. Like, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. like we have looked at um, like minibus hires and stuff like that, but that would just involve us hiking up the press. So, so if I'm anyone else is driving from London, you can. Yeah, yeah, like, can yeah, we try, yeah, we try and do that, but realistically, we leave it to it being everyone's responsibility yeah, 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 because yeah, yeah. everyone that comes is an adult, so it's like this is the venue. I guarantee if someone had a party somewhere, like, like the yeah, South yeah, End, yeah, you're gonna yeah. find yourself there, yeah, so yeah, we kind of treat it like that. But we would like to improve the service, but it's just like it would increase the cost. Exactly. And my thing yeah. is like making it affordable for everyone to come, like, that's the thing, mm. that's why it's a passion, it's not about the money, mm. like, it's about. Can we get involved? Right, cool. What is a fair price that people are not? There's another thing we haven't even touched on this. The thing that people are concerned about is the price because it's so expensive. Mm. So my thing, main focus is let's make it affordable. Mm. Like, oh yeah, but you could probably make more money. But yeah, is it really about that? Because if no one wants to do it, because that's the main gripe that everyone has, right? Yeah. It's like no one has money. Yeah. So don't worry about like it sounds silly like we're doing a business, but like don't worry about the money like that, like. It's all about the experience. Yeah. You pay for the experience. So, yeah. It's the cause. You're, you're yeah. thinking about the cause as opposed to how much money is going to put in my pocket. Exactly. Which is like, I guess, one of the most important things because it shows a, an element of truth. You know, it's yeah. coming from a place where I love this and I want other people to experience it. Yeah. So that's the beautiful thing about it. In terms of winter sport, have you thought about any other type of events? Personally, no. No? No. Just for the sheer fact, like, I can see people asking, you know. But this is the thing, like, there's enough people that have access to that. Yeah. And it's not, like, as ah, to okay, be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's not even, like, realistically, it's not even a passion of mine. Because I have access to, like, I, I, like I said, it's not for money. So I'm not, I don't look at it like, oh, there's a gap here. Like, literally, I went abroad on holiday, I came back, and you got the this happened. It, yeah, 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 you know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? So it's, it's like, birth of it. yeah, yeah, so other people have, like put it to me like oh we could do this or we could do that would you like to do this and i'm like no because it's not something that i do yeah, it's yeah, not yeah. it's not saying that i wouldn't do it but i want to still put like i want to like with this i'm committed yeah, yeah. i don't want to be half-hearted because i'm not going to do anything half-hearted yeah, yeah, yeah. my thing is about key about profession uh being professional professionalism so like for example like when I, I'm, I'm at my events Sometimes I get people saying to me, why are you not on the slopes, like snowboarding with us? I'm like, because I'm making sure that everything's taken care of. Yeah, I remember That's... asking you that. I remember asking you like, why are you out here in training? You're like, I've got to make sure everyone else is okay. And I was like, my brother. <laughs> That's, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the yeah, most yeah. important thing, man. Because, yeah, like, how can I be enjoying myself and you're not? Yeah. Imagine you're down there Especially like... Especially just someone's first time as well. Exactly. Exactly. And I think I get that element of it from, like, doing boxing coaching where, like, I know what it's like for someone to step in a ring for the first time lace off a pair of gloves for the first time mention getting like hit for the first time like it's not you need someone to really like kind of like i'm gonna bring you into this environment mm. in the safest possible way yeah, yeah, yeah. so that's why i make sure I that reminds me because you you spoke about oh, i forgot what example you did but you i think it was like a child tying up the shoelace and it's something completely new but what you don't realize is your parents supported you throughout the whole thing like you want to give up you're like oh it's not for me and i guess that's what you're doing you're kind of being that not a parent in that such but you're being a guardian of some sort yeah of yeah. making sure everything's okay everything's moving smoothly yeah i know this is foreign to you but i'm here for you exactly no but that's it that's like come on man that's like any activity that's the key thing if there's anything that's ever going to deter you from doing something it's a bad experience right mm. Imagine when you need help and no one's there to help you. <laughs> That's the wildest That's thing. The worst. Have you ever like needed like customer service or something like that, and you're like, "Who can Hello? I speak to?" Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's what you get. like that is the worst thing. So for me, it's like that is the most important thing is that you come there and you have a good time mm. and you have a vibe. You know what I'm saying? Ski, snowboard, and vibes. That is yes. what the link up is about. Mm. Yeah, man. You've mentioned like passion quite a few times. In terms of slopes or locations or mountains, is there a place you want to go to and just do your thing? Or a trick you want to do where you're like, I've got to do, I've got to do this. Because you kept trying to go, was it backwards you kept trying to do? I think I saw you just kept trying to go like backwards on the board or something. And you're like, I'm going to go again, I'm going to go again. And you just kept going up. I can't remember what that is because I've tried quite a few yeah, things. Yeah. <laughs> like, my knees, if my knees could speak right about now, they would be uh, effing like, them blind. Like, yeah, um, places like 
I can't even say this is a place. All I can say is this. The places I have in mind, you wouldn't even think you could snowboard or ski there. Amazing. Yeah. Madness. I'm telling you, like, I don't even want to drop gems right now because they ready, man. like I'll tell you one place that everyone knows about Japan. Like Japan is definitely somewhere where I, yeah, I want to yeah. snowboard and ski, but there are other places in this world, like I just mentioned to you, like you can snowboard and ski so in Africa. Yeah, like yeah. it's not it's not a joke. I'm not saying it's for banks. Like literally. Like you can it's not I'm not saying it's the best snow you'll ever get in the world, <laughs> but it is possible. There are resorts. Oh shit. So it's like that's just mad. Imagine just that. Where you been? I was in Africa skiing. You were where skiing? Africa, you heard me. What? So that's like for me, that's that's the thing that I kind of want to explore is like going to the places that people won't go to or don't even know exists that they can go to that's more my thing um, but yeah I'm not going to drop the places I'm yet excited. I'm excited stay tuned cool. I'm, I'm, <laughs> <I'm, I'm, laughs> yeah. I'm excited alright I feel like we're getting close to the end is there anything you want to leave on any special messages that you want to put into people's minds you want to I don't know to these sides yeah, for people who want to get into it don't know how to start or even someone who's doing their own little thing and they're, you know, it's a passion project and there's, you know, they're facing ups and downs. Is there anything? No, it's just like, in regards to like passion projects and like ups and downs, perseverance. Perseverance is key, man. Everyone has self doubt. So, like, as far as I see it, like, understanding your journey, what you've done, what may have gone right, what may have gone wrong, internal analysis of yourself. And the situation and just perseverance man just go again you fall over get up go again mm. learn from the mistake and go again like there is someone else out there going through the same struggle as you you trust me so just persevere with that and in regards to like a sign out message you know the slogan already man be defiant become the norm so say that one more time please be defiant become the norm baby. Come on, like there is no boundary out there that you cannot overcome so as far as i see it like just keep doing your thing if it's something you want to do then do it if you can find people to do it with then do that if you can't still do it and I'm guaranteed the time you get there you'll find people to do it with so yeah man boy, boy I love that energy yeah. boy yeah that motivational talk yeah? yeah so like if someone wants to find a little bit more about yourself where can they find you quick little plug. yeah man well, he's really done the yeah. I've done a couple Extra plugs yeah. But yeah man like uh, urbanshredders.co again .co um, and popular social media so like instagram facebook twitter instagram is the most um the, the platform that we most use so again i'm sure there's all one word and we're looking to get the youtube channel up and running and like really get that popping with some videos and stuff like that but it's all a journey right so yeah. whether or not you want to participate follow the journey yeah. trust me yeah I'm happy, you know. Yeah, I know, man. I want to hear the slopes. Yeah, that's what a yo. So, like, <laughs> this next event in April, is it still open or is it all... So, the event, so where we're going in April, it's up, we're going abroad. Okay. So, we're going to be going to Austria. Yeah. Um. So, if you want to go snowbombing, then yeah, there's tickets out there. Swear, yeah. It has nothing to do with us, like, directly. You guys are collecting. Got, yeah, but, like, if you want to join us out there, you're more than welcome, man. Yeah. And you can share real. the flight details and all that jazz, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 We're yeah. Still, there's still some people that need to pay some stuff, you know? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. Norm. The some people, yeah, yeah, yeah. What about, is there any future events coming up after that? Yeah, so we've got our, what's it, our second anniversary event, um, likely to be in Milton Keynes Snow Zone uh, in July, uh, around about uh, July 27th, July 28th. So, yeah, man, there'll be more details. Again, like, everything, want anything the website urbanshudders.co urban shudders with a z i should have said that before but um yeah man everything's on there from events to merch to what we're doing what our events involve and yeah man just like anything you want to get involved we've even got a blog so if you want to see like what we do our experiences check it out man you know what I'm thinking? This is one man doing this, you know. That's we even got a blog. Man, I wrote yeah. the blog. <laughs> no, <laughs> legit. I know, I know. First time of camp. Yeah. Right. So I think that's it for our podcast. Um, Ola, where people, where can people find us? Well, thank you for coming. Thank you for joining oh, yeah, us. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Um, How rude of me. I know. Thank oh you. God. <laughs> we can be emailed at info at taggingpodcast.co.uk. Found on all the popular platforms, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. 
and um, definitely reach out to us. Leave comments on SoundCloud and iTunes, um, Spotify as well. Yeah. Spread the love. Leave a comment. 